The lab servicing. I'd like to draw the Senate's attention to an exciting opportunity that has the potential to attract more tourists and create sustainable jobs in my home state of Tasmania. Perhaps most importantly, this project has the potential to actually help heal divisions and unite traditional Tasmanian adversaries. In the modern economy, I firmly believe Tasmania's future lies in its precious natural advantages. Our ability to employ our people, fund vital services and maintain good living standards is ever more dependent on three key things. Our ability to become a world leader in producing clean, renewable energy, our ability to innovate and create globally coveted produce from our climate, soils and waterways, and of course our ability to attract more visitors to come and spend more money sampling Tasmania's beauty. So imagine a project that generally has the environmental, social and economic credibility to unite all sides. I believe that project is the infrastructure upgrade currently proposed for Cradle Mountain. Cradle Mountain is part of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area and one of the most special places on earth. It's a place of ancient rainforests found nowhere else on earth a place of the most ancient alpine species like King Billy Pine and a host of precious wildlife, a place of incredible Aboriginal heritage and stunning scenery around Lake St Clair and Dove Lake. It's become an iconic Tasmanian symbol. Lonely Planet has ranked Cradle Mountain as the world's 32nd best visitor experience. In Australia, only the Great Barrier Reef and Mona outrank it. It rates ahead of Uluru and Kakadu National Park. However, Cradle Mountain's tourism infrastructure is run down and needs significant improvement. Tourism demand is moving well beyond what the current infrastructure can handle. In particular, disability access to the mountain is very poor. And as things stand, the access road will have to be widened and upgraded to carry bigger buses within about 12 months. In turn, those buses will create more pollution and wear and tear on the local environment. So, Compared to widening the road and bringing more bigger vehicles, the Cradle Mountain Master Plan proposal highlights a sustainable alternative that will remove most vehicles altogether from the sensitive mountain area and instead provide visitor access, including disability access, via a low-impact, world's best-practice cableway stretching 7.2 kilometres up the mountain. It will also help to attract 60,000 tourists a year to Cradle Mountain, currently averaging 200,000 visitors each year. And the extra visitation will be possible because the cableway will provide all-weather access all year round, instead of relying on the access road staying open. The project will create over almost 150 full-time jobs in construction and more than 110 uh, full-time jobs uh, in operation in a region that particularly needs sustainable jobs. It will create market potential for about 200 extra accommodation rooms in the Cradle Mountain area, and it will provide low-impact shelter pods around Dove Lake and create a new wilderness village that consolidates visitor parking and retail outside the National Park, removing the ugly Dove Lake car park, which is currently among the first things visitors actually see from the top of Cradle Mountain. This master plan project will save Tasmanian taxpayers up to $40 million in recurrent costs over the life of the project. Most crucially, it will help protect the precious Cradle Mountain environment and reduce the carbon footprint. And in contrast, doing nothing will actually see that environment degraded over time. But unfortunately, Mr Acting Deputy Speaker, in tonight's budget, that is exactly what the Turnbull government has, has gone with, the doing nothing approach. The doing nothing approach for tourism in Tasmania and the doing nothing approach for the Cradle Mountain Master Plan. And that is a, a very, uh, very much a shame for Tasmania. It's a shame for Tasmanian jobs. It's a shame for the Tasmanian people. But most importantly, it's a shame for the Tasmanian brand, which, as I said, Lonely Planet rates so highly. This is a $100 million public-private project being actively championed by the Tourism Industry Council in Tasmania, by Parks and Wildlife, by the Cradle Coast Authority and all the nine Cradle Coast councils. The Commonwealth Government could have made this happen. Instead, it has chose to do nothing. In the meantime, it's happy to continue to invest in Kakadu National Park but virtually do nothing for Cradle Mountain. Where does this stack up? 
And where is the government in standing up for Tasmania? It is doing nothing in this budget tonight.